It's a fiberglass body car called the Brubaker Box that was designed in Los Angeles in the early 70s by a man named Curtis Brubaker. I have uh, an interest in vans, and this is considered sort of like a miniature van, like the first mini van, I guess you would call it. And uh, really, I just got lucky because uh, there were less than 30 of them made originally, so they don't come up for sale very often. It had been sitting in a small garage for 30 years, so it didn't run and it needed a lot of work, but um, I love restoration and I wanted to see this car preserved, you know? And so, yeah, I just, I bought it and I spent six months basically doing the restoration, you know? It's a very uh, complicated restoration because there's no manuals for the Brubaker box, you know? And if you find one now, just because now they're a little more well-known, even if it needs to be restored, it's gotta be, in the 10,000 range somewhere, you know? So yeah, under the body, basically the, it was designed to bolt right onto a VW Beetle chassis. So the chassis isn't modified at all. It's just basically a bug with no body. And then the Brubaker box body just bolts right to the chassis. Everything fits perfectly. Um, the only thing that has to be moved is the pedal assembly, you know? I think people are just so mystified when they see it. It's like, it's, they, don't, they don't associate it with it being like a lot of money, like say when a girl sees like a Ferrari, but they're taken back by it from a stylistic standpoint. So it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of strange. It's, it's sort of a magnet, but it's more like a magnet for curiosity. You know what I mean? Men and women. Drive similar to a bug, um, but the pedals are raised off the floor, unlike a bug, which the, the, the pedals are on the pan. So this is a more laid back in general. The seat la it lays back a little more, and your feet are up a little higher because the pedals are raised. So it, it's definitely, when you first get in it, I was afraid to drive it when I first got in. You know? So this is the, the original motor. It's sort of unusual because it's an early turbocharged motor. It's, it's a 1600, like a regular bug would have. But then with the Ray J turbo, and it's all original. I just, just like the body, pulled the motor out and basically took every single thing apart and, uh, and rebuilt it. This is like a perfect car to me, you know, when I think of sort of like the aesthetics and as far as like a recreational vehicle, you know. I have one car for regular use, you know, driving around every day. It doesn't look cool and it's not that fun, but it gets good gas mileage, you know? But this is a fun car and it looks cool. And I don't think there's any other cars that look cooler than this. So I don't know what, what I'd get if I didn't have this, you know?